Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's go again. So if you had a boyfriend, right, and his and he was small, but he was perfect in every other way, would you think this would be something good that he could use? Yeah, I think that's a, a nice option. For him. Yeah, like if, if if I was if I because I had a boyfriend, right, and he was perfect in almost every way because there's no man that's perfect, but his, you know, it was small, mm-hmm. and I've I'm used to let like. I've I'm experienced and I've had you know bigger dicks you know and I'm just like don't want a small dick mm-hmm. so I, if he was able to add two inches to his dick I would have been happier yeah because his whole dick was like four inches right <laughs> but well, I didn't know this existed and I I didn't even know this adds so, uh, inches to you how do you do an ad for something like this we're doing it. No, no, but like, it, like a so if you were to see a social media ad and it was this product, like how I I want to know what that would look like. Okay, so this is this is a a penis pump. This is a very <laughs> weird sounding product, but if you're if you are smaller down there and you want extra girth and length, you can privately use this in your bathroom and not tell anybody and. Please your woman and have a bigger dick than God gave you. Mm-hmm. Cut, you know. Oh yeah, that's the, right. That's a, that's what else? What, how would you? How would you do it? Your turn. Well, I was just imagining if I were to see an ad for this on social media, would it be a person doing it? No. No. How would you want <laughs> the ad? What would What would be the best way to advertise this product if you were doing the ad or you were the? the how, just how do, How do you show that it? like that it works, works. Yeah. well my friend so well, i was saying my friend came here mm-hmm. and i made him try it before he came last week and he said it actually did work okay like he didn't want to try it but i made him test him he test he tested it out okay he said you basically you put water in it and it basically you pump it and somehow it expands your thing okay. temporarily cool yeah so it does work but it is kind of you know weird yeah you just do this in the privacy of your home, and it is kind of weird, but it does work. And sometimes you have to do weird shit to get results. Like, women, we wax our assholes. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm sure our partner appreciates it, and we don't have to tell them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And some people even, like, clean themselves out with enemas, and people do weird shit, right? Yeah. This is just... <laughs> add it to the list. Yeah, add it to the list. Okay. Good. I like it. Thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Do you wanna do you wanna say anything before we wrap up? I think I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. I love you. Thank you so so much. Of I really course. appreciate your yeah. time. As long as this isn't in my name on Google, then I'm good. No names. Okay, cool. Zero names. Love. Okay. <laughs> Even the chroma piece, you can keep that one out. Okay, I'll keep it. Oh, because of the dick stuff? Okay, got yeah, it. Okay, no problem. Uh, yes, of course. This one, right? This is the closed one, right? Go ahead. Go for it. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a good day. I love your hair, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I was just waiting for her to leave. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Yeah. So, okay. I was supposed to have a guest today. Um, her name is Blue Jasmine. She's been asking me to come on this show forever, for months now. And last minute she canceled. So, um, I mean, it's it's so hard to be a female. It's just, it really is. It's just, I don't want to look fat. I don't want to hear your people. Okay. So yeah, so she was supposed to come on the show today and she said she had surgery last minute and she just ghosted me. So I'm actually happy that I'm doing this by myself today because I am so sick of the guests that I've been getting in New York. The guest options, no offense to anyone who's come on the show. I appreciate and love every single, not every single one of you, but, you know, I I haven't had many, I haven't shot many episodes so far. How many episodes have I shot? Like four, right? I don't know how many episodes, but I'm just, I'm not thrilled about the guest options in New York. Like, it, it, L.A. has better guest options because everyone in L.A. is trying to, like, make it in the industry. And there's just so many weirdos 
and like different kinds of people I can interview and here everybody's like so up their own fucking ass and they're so serious and I just don't want to talk to them so I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this myself what did I want to say I saw um Safari and Erica are going at it online and I just wanted to chime in on it for a second um I've been trying to say this forever like co-parenting is really really not it like it is super hard and it makes being a parent like not fun at all so I just don't recommend like I just think that people should really be careful who they have kids with like a lot of times when we don't have kids and the other person has kids we like don't notice a lot of the red flags Bef- like because we don't have kids so it's like sometimes you think the way someone's parenting is normal like if if a, if you're dating a guy and he has kids but you don't and he's like oh I love my kids and he sees his kids once every six months that's not normal you know what I mean it's not normal but we don't notice because we don't have kids and we think that like oh he talks to them every day so he's he's present just because a guy talks to his kids every day on the phone doesn't make them a present parent like phone parents are bullshit you know like I don't really respect phone parents and I also wanted to say um that I saw another thing on Instagram I saw like fat Joe he was talking about his son and how he has like down syndrome and his child's mom like basically gave him the child and like disappeared and didn't want anything to do with the child because the child had special needs and um, one out of 36 kids have autism in this country. So a lot of people are parenting special needs kids. And it's a really, really hard thing to do. Like, it changes your entire life. And nobody really talks about it because I feel like maybe they're embarrassed or ashamed that their child turned out that way. Or they don't think anybody's really going to understand them. And I just want to commend the parents that still come through every day to take care of those kids. Even when they're tired or they're sick or they don't want to. And they do what they need to do because they're just like a solid person. Because a lot of people don't. You know, like some people give up on their kids or... They mistreat their kids if they have special needs. And some people are just really amazing, beautiful people, and they don't get the credit for it, you know? If we don't see it on social media, it's almost like it doesn't exist, but they do exist. There are a lot of people out there that are caretakers of special needs kids, and they don't get recognition because they're not on social media, like, flaunting it, you know? So I just want to shout out those people who every day do the god's work you know um what else did i want to talk about (sighs) i don't know i need to get signed already i'm so like i'm so over this i don't understand how the hawk 2 girl who had one fucking video got a podcast deal and all this other shit for just saying Hawk two on that thing. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's, to me, white privilege. And I'm not even black. And I never really even thought about, like, this whole white privilege thing until I got into this industry. But I noticed that white, it it has to be white privilege. Like, how do you get a podcast deal for having one fucking video go viral? I've had, like, 20 videos go viral and I haven't gotten any, any deals. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. I don't get it. And I'm going to say this again. Dave Portnoy, I've, like, DM'd you. I've commented, harassed you on your fucking posts. Like, I don't understand what I need to do. You know, maybe, you know what I should do? I'm going to go to Barstool Sports. After I leave this fucking studio, I think they're, like, around here somewhere. I'm just going to go to their office and ask. I'm just going to inquire about who signs podcasts. Because I'm just, like, I just don't understand. I really don't. Like, I need to just stalk these people, I guess. This is the only way to do it. 
what else did I want to talk about? I want to go back to LA like really, really badly. I'm so, oh, you know what I want to talk about? Fat Man Scoop. I haven't mentioned, um, like rest in peace to Fat Man Scoop. He always, um, like supported me and he always like said like kind words to me and always try to inspire me to keep going and when he passed like it really broke my heart and I wanted to play some of the things he said to me before he passed because it's like there's not a lot of people in this world that really just like give a shit you know and he spent a lot of time talking to me and like he watched my episodes and gave me like you know his thoughts on it and he always believed in me you know he always said like keep going and he was supposed to come on the podcast before he passed away so let me see Like, he always used to try to give me, like, ideas of what to do, and... I just wanted to show my respects to him because there's not a lot of people who like give a shit or even try to say anything of positivity to you when you're like starting to try to do something. So I really do. Um, that means a lot to me. Hi, you're here just in time. Just in time. What's up? What time is it? You want to sit in? Why? Why not? Okay. Do you want to just talk to me and I won't put you on camera? You could do that. Okay. I need. I need that because I. I. am talking to myself right now. Yes. I start at eleven. Where? Here. You can sit here. You won't be on camera. You made it. Oh my! <laughs> What's up? I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. Because I I I'm need. On the mic. I'm on the mic. It only took you. It only took you a month. Yeah. You're busy. Yeah, yeah. It's just been crazy, man. In just what been, way? Uh, just all the changes, like work. Um, he works for yeah. Atlantic, right? Or yeah, Universal? Yeah. Atlantic. Oh, and he, he said he for every they, everyone got fired over there. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Like he laid off more than like sixty percent of the staff. Yeah, that shit was a bloodbath. I'm on. Am I? This is recording. But you're not on it. Oh, all right, cool. But they gonna know my voice. Who? Who the who's they? Whoever works there. They're not gonna watch this. I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. No. It's all over the shade room. What is? This like, information? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Even Nicki Minaj was throwing shots. What'd she say? She was like, oh, I don't remember what she said, but she was like, oh, like, UPS is hiring. But she was just aiming at the executives and shit like that. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But it was good. Nothing. I'm just here trying to make something happen. It's hard for me to film out here. It's In not, New York? It's not, yeah, it's not the same. What's the difference between New York and L.A.? The difference? Yeah. Everything. Just the energy is not as, like, stressful. Mm -hmm. Like, when you wake up, first of all, it's sunny. So right. it's not cold. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And everybody's, like, more relaxed. Yeah. 
and everything's more relaxed. So you don't feel like the tension of like, right. Ah, yeah, you yeah. know, you got to perform, perform, perform. You know what I mean? And like LA, LA, everything's more. Yeah, but it, like, it actually yeah. helps you perform better not having that like stress on you right, to perform. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And then it's like, there's a lot of people to interview in LA. There's a, everybody in LA is trying to be in the industry. So it's yeah. like, it's very easy for me to get guests as opposed to here. Yeah. Like everybody's up their own fucking ass. Right, you know? right. Like. I thought LA would be like that though. Like what? Everyone's up their own ass? Yeah. Like everybody no, got not. like a fucking, you know. What? Like no diss to LA. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought like LA would have more of that. You know, it, we it's sunny. You know what I'm saying? It's Hollywood. Like kind of have like that. Yeah, but up, there's like different kinda. levels. Like a lot of people in LA are broke. They're they're struggling. They're trying right. to make it. It's really expensive to live there. Yeah, yeah. Their rent is unaffordable. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know that it's unaffordable here too. But in in New York, you could live in like Queens and the outskirts, mm -hmm. and you can find right, a right. place. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. in LA, it's very very hard to maintain a lifestyle the gas is mm. expensive the food is expensive so everybody's like nobody wants to work a nine to five job you know what i mean and right. even if they do look for a nine to five job they can't find one that will pay them enough to serve right to survive and then they keep getting fired or like Nobody, I don't know anyone who had a job for like 10 years. You know what I mean? It's LA? like you go from God one job damn. to the next job because everyone's looking for the next best, best thing. Right. And these celebrities don't pay. You know what I mean? So they're like, oh, you're next to me, so you should accept less yeah, because yeah. you're around me. Why doesn't why don't the celebrities pay? It's they don't more, pay. It's just more about exposure and shit, right? Yeah, like they feel like they're doing you a favor mm. for even being there. So they don't right. pay enough for the people to survive. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or like the label will pay you like three thousand dollars a month, and then you right. have to like chase them to get it, and it's like a thirty day yeah, net. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that, it's like that whole net thirty bullshit. Yeah, next sixty bullshit. Like what is that? It's bullshit. And it, how are you supposed to pay your bills like that? Because you're always yeah. behind. So nobody is it's like L.A. is like there's no middle class. It's either you're like up there or, you or just you're broke. just fucked up and you're trying to make it. And like not a lot of people have mm -hmm. kids. You know, it's not really a place for kids and people who have kids. They have money, you know. Right. right. So it's like there's really two levels. And I've been on both. Mm -hmm. Like I've been broke out there and then I've been like, you know, you've been up. I've been up, up you know, so yeah. it's like I'm just you. I've been up for a while. Yeah. So like recently. You know, try trying to do this to, podcast. But you about to be up again. Yeah, at some point. I mean, you're already making progress. Yeah. Big but, progress. Yeah, but it's not enough. I mean, it's going to take time. I mean, I told you from like the start, like when I saw your page before you had like mm -hmm. all these guests and, your, you know, your shit really started going up. I was like, yo, you got it. Yeah. I'm not worried about you. I'm not you worried either. I'm just like, I'm just This is going to take time. Because I want to go home. Home where? To LA. Like, this is not my home. Like, New York is not my home. But how long you been in LA? What, 10 years, right? 13 years. Hmm. Organics, like, just come to Miami and let's just film here. I'm like, I don't... I would, if I didn't have a kid... Yeah, yeah. I would be able to do that. Right, but I right. can't, like, take my kid out of school yeah, yeah, yeah. and then go to Miami and film with you and put him in school in Miami and then go back to L.A. Why does an organic just come here? Organic. Where is he going to stay? Here. Organic. Just, I don't know. Stay in. Who's going to pay for it? I mean, he will. He's not going to. I mean. I don't know. I don't know how he feels. I'm but just, I have chemistry. Like, I don't see why. I mean, I mean, just, just off of principle. Yeah, I don't know. I you can't know I can't force anyone to do anything. It's just it's a mentality, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people don't like to spend money. I'm not one of those people, but yeah, yeah. I think he is one of those people. Not to put him down or anything, but of I just course. think, you know, that's just he likes to be accommodated. He wants to be accommodated. Okay. Right now I cannot accommodate anyone. I'm well, trying to accommodate myself. It's manifest uh organic coming in New York. To filming. New York? Yeah, yeah. Filming, paying for his home. It's Airbnb. I mean, he could make different moves out here. It doesn't just have to be like filming with you. You know what I'm saying? He can mm -hmm. make different moves, do different interviews, film a vlog. I'll film a vlog, Mr. Organic. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
It's not gonna be free though. Right. <laughs> of course not. But and you know. I mean, like I said, he could he could make the most out here. You know, anybody, not just organic. But maybe he's he but likes anybody. where he's at. You know. Yeah. I want to go to Barstool after this. You want to come with me? What time? Right now, after after I don't know what I think we have like <clears throat> whatever twenty minutes left. All right, where's Barstool? I don't know. We're gonna look for it. What time did you start? Well, the end. Of, I started late because there was people here, and she had to set up. Oh, but that's not your fault. No. That's why you got twenty minutes? You should have thirty minutes. Well, whatever, extra. whatever, whenever she says it's over. But it's oh. I'm, I have more than whatever. I have enough okay. time. But I'm just saying, I, I there is a bar stool. I think it's on Broadway, which is not far from here. Okay. And I just want to go there and see who signs podcasts. All right, I can pull up. Yeah. Real quick. I need to get an agent too. How do I do that? Just call. I don't know. Like, I looked up agencies. There's like the top <sighs> tier agencies, and then those who you want to be signed yeah. with. You know what I mean? I don't want to be signed with like somebody else. I want to be signed with like the top agencies, but I don't think I'm on there on the level to be signed yet with those you got, agencies. You got William Morris. Yeah. They're pretty big. You got. Um, yeah, but I don't think those people would sign me. Why not? I don't know because anyone who's like I mean, big. They have like Meek Mill and fucking like Gigi Hadid. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got CAA. Yeah, they're not gonna sign me. They're huge. They have fucking Brad Pitt. You know. You know. Will Ferrell. You know I don't like. What? I feel like I don't know. Too many people. All right, let's say they don't want to fuck with you, right? Yeah. What would be? To me, it's like, I think I know the reason. Why? Because I'm not white? <laughs> nah. What? What's because the... of numbers. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll yeah. probably just look at it like, oh, you know, she probably, yeah, she got, you know, 70,000 followers, 50,000, you know, subscribers. Maybe we want somebody that's like 100,000, you know, a million, whatever. But, like, I just think people don't have, these days, like, the... A lot of people, not everybody, they don't have like the discernment to look at somebody and say, "Yeah, that's it. We gonna take a chance on that." Like artist Be development. Yeah, cause how is it that I saw you with, I don't know, five thousand, four thousand right. followers, and I was able to, you just popped up on my timeline, right? And you didn't have no major celebrities or yeah. This is before all of this. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, and what? how is it that I'm able to look at you and be like, "Yeah, that's it." That's that's she got it. Yeah, you're and then <laughs> and then a year later, look, you got the game, you got, you know, um, all of these like influencers and people hitting your inbox wanting to be a part of what you got going on. How is it that I could see that, but somebody can't see that? I don't know, but you're not even the only one. Right, that's the crazy. I was just playing scoops mm -hmm. like uh, voice notes. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And how he always like supported my right, what right. I'm doing because yeah, yeah. you know. And, even, you know, who, like, hit me when I had yeah, 2,000 yeah. followers. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it just doesn't make sense to me how it's, like, I have videos with millions of yeah, views. Yeah. Yesterday I had a video that just hit a million views. You know what I mean? How like, many... game? Yeah. How many videos do I have to get mm -hmm. with, a, with over a million views for someone to fucking mm -hmm. notice me? Like, I don't understand. Like, what do I need to do? Whose dick do I need to suck? Oh, no. Nah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no. But that's really, I think, how it maybe works. Maybe that's what it is. It like, is. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Like, it has to be. Not to say you got to do it, but maybe that's what... I wanted to pimp out Jesse to somebody. Who? Because <laughs> I feel like everyone's gay, so I had Jesse. I was like, maybe we... But I don't even <laughs> know who to pimp him out to. I think I'm done having sex, y'all. Like, I don't even want to have sex ever again. Why? Cause I'm not interested. I've I'm, I've had a lot of sex. Like I'm sick. I'm tired of men, and I'm just tired of sex. Like I'm maybe. I'm not in the mind to have sex at all. I don't know. Maybe you get to an age you don't want to have sex anymore. Maybe you just I don't know. Maybe you're just the type of people you just tired of. I don't know. Tired of what? I don't think you could ever be tired of having sex for real. Maybe it's the motherfuckers that used to like turn you on just don't turn you on no more. Maybe. Maybe you just 
outgrew certain people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't think it goes away. I don't know. Everybody got a type, right? Yeah, I don't have a type, though, because my type isn't my type anymore. Because I noticed that my type mm. is not really good for me, you know? like. <laughs> yeah. So after that, when your type, right, is like elite, mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh, that they're not, they're not good for me. How are you yeah, supposed yeah. to like go down from that? You know what I mean? Mm. You're like, oh, but then you're like, they're like, oh, well, who the fuck are you? Yeah, you're yeah. you're 37 and you're a single mom. Like, how are you gonna ask for all this shit? And you're like, you know, what? maybe you're right. So I'm good. I'm good alone. You know what I mean? Like, you're right. I am 37 and I am a single mom. You don't look 37. No, I. That's cool. And that's like, cool. I'm not perfect. You know, I'm not. I'm not a supermodel. And okay, cool. Like, I don't even want. I'm cool with like mm-hmm. being alone. Yeah, yeah. You know. That's cool. Because I feel like relationships are work, and they people expect things from you. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah. And I just got too much going on. I don't care about it. I just want to make money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. True, true. I think we're living in a world where it's like life is so expensive to live, just a regular life, that Mm -hmm. how could you focus on anything else? Right. But making money, you know? True. What do you think it costs to live like a regular life monthly? In New York City? Just in general? Yeah. Like, what do you think is enough for somebody to just survive a regular life? $10,000. Ten thousand dollars. Right, is that easy to make? No. No, it's not. Do you make ten thousand dollars a month no. and from one job? No. It's it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. And they even said that like ten thousand dollars a month is like poverty. And I York. think I think ten thousand dollars after taxes. Yeah, after taxes. Not before taxes. Right. Because after before like once if you making ten thousand before taxes, that's gonna be. Like what, five thousand? You got to pay insurance, whatever, whatever you got to do every month. That's not enough. It's not enough. It's got to be ten thousand after after taxes, right? Because then you got to pay your rent. If you got a car, if you got kids, right? You know what I'm saying? It's not enough. Food, all that shit. So how could you think about a relationship when you have all this pressure? You know? Mm -hmm. Especially in New York City. Yeah. You probably want to add on another five thousand. Maybe another ten thousand. Another ten thousand. Another ten. So twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. That's how I feel like how much I need in LA. Twenty thousand at least, just yeah. just for regular, regular life. You know, to me it's regular. I don't know. Right. I don't want to live in a fucking apartment with a roommate. You know what I'm saying? Especially I have a kid. I don't want no fucking roommate. The only roommate I want is a nanny. Right. That's the only roommate I want and mm-hmm. will accept. You know, and I cannot live with one bathroom. Yeah. Also, I can't live in a place that has one bathroom. You got to have two bathrooms. I have to have two bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Like, my friend just like, oh, just come stay with us. And yeah, No, yeah. you have one bathroom. I cannot do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't even get an apartment with one bathroom. I remember okay. I saw this, like, house that I liked, and it had one bathroom. I had to... I this was in it. L.A.? Yeah. I can't do one yeah, bathroom yeah. anywhere because I need my personal bathroom mm-hmm. where I can make a mess, and then I need a guest bathroom in case somebody comes over and needs to use the bathroom. Right. I don't want to have to, like, worry about my bathroom being a mess or not. If somebody mm-hmm. is like, oh, can I use your bathroom? And I'm like, oh, shit, my bathroom's a mess. I got to clean. No. Yeah, they leave Go behind, use like, pee stains and shit. No, not pee stains, but I'll have, like, makeup all over the fucking right, counter. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Then my mm-hmm. son has his little toilet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then yeah, it might yeah. have pee in it, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? And it's like, there might be, like, underwear on the floor. Right, I'm right. just saying. You know, I don't want you... Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? You don't want to share your bathroom. I don't bathroom want you coming in my bathroom. Like, if you have up. to pee, yeah, if yeah. you come to my house right now, mm-hmm. on some, like, yo, let's just mm-hmm. we'll get some, I don't know, whatever. I left yeah. something at home, and you're like, yo, I got to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I, ha- I haven't peed in an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like, oh, shit. I don't want them to see my bathroom. Right, you know what I mean? Right, and right. then I have to clean my bathroom and make you wait mm-hmm. in the living room to clean my bathroom just so just you could go use to the guest you got to go to the guest bathroom. So if I don't have a guest bathroom, I can't mm-hmm. live in that place. I don't know if that's bougie or not, you know? But that's just, that's just standards. And how do you feel about why how do you feel about people who have Android still? Like what is that about? Would you date a girl who has an Android or do you think it's only important to women? You know what's crazy about Androids? I get scammer vibes. 
scammer vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you got an aunt, uh, don't disrespect. You're you either poor <laughs> or you're a scammer <laughs> or you're a drug dealer. You're either poor or you're a drug dealer. There's only oh, two reasons. You, or you're an immigrant <laughs> and you don't know how to use the phone. What? I was going to say that, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real shit. My stepfather has an Android. I'm like, why don't you have an iPhone? Right. He's like, I don't need this phone. It's a thousand dollars. Oh, I'm my like, God. All right. Okay. Nah, okay. you call it the migrant phone? What, the, the Android? Is it the migrant phone? Microphone? The migrant, the migrant. Immigrant phone. phone. Oh, the immigrant phone. Yeah. Yeah. The immigrants, the poor people, and the drug dealers. But yeah. there's no drug dealer who doesn't also have an iPhone. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? It's like, how do you... My friend has an... Um, this, like, I came back to mm -hmm. New York, and my, my friend gave me his number. Yeah, yeah. And he has a fucking Android. I'm like, bro, how... He's like, oh, I'm on my family's plan, and I can't change. I'm like, oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I'm, like, in the fucking twilight zone over here in when New I, York. When I, like, DM people with an Android, I just feel like you a scammer. Like, yeah. you got an Android. And I can see them green bubbles. Like, I just feel like you up to some shit. Yeah. Because almost right. everybody I know with a with an Android phone what is, do you think? is doing some shit. Like they seem what do you think shit. about people who have Androids? Sus, right? Yeah, it gives you sus yeah. vibes. Give you sus energy. Like you running up numbers or some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't want to be like you just switch out your SIM cards and shit, and they go missing, and they call you back on another number. Yeah. That's what I get with like Android phones. But when did we get to that point where phones is like a status symbol? A while ago. I don't know if it's a status symbol. It's just like. Ghetto, you know. <laughs> Shit, it's just ghetto. What about the Samsung? The Samsung's is like a thousand. Nobody wants that. Like I need to FaceTime you, you know. Can't you FaceTime on the Android? No. I wouldn't. Know. Unless you have WhatsApp. It's just I used ghetto. to have an Android. Okay. You were poor. I mean. Yes. You must have been poor. That's what. Not really. So then, why do you have it? When I had the Android, that's because I didn't want an iPhone. Why? All right. So What's the real reason? My boy had an Android. He had the tablet, mm -hmm. and he was playing video games on it. Mm -hmm. And before that, I had a BlackBerry. This was a while back. Okay, so, so how a while back is this? Ten years this ago? Is like yeah, like okay. 20, this this is not a 11, good conversation 20, for today. 20, 20, 12, okay, but today you have an iPhone. Yeah, I got an iPhone. All right, so then it does, what happened ten years ago doesn't matter anymore. Oh, so it matters now. That you, yeah. got an iPhone, you got an iPhone. Now it's like Android. really crazy. 10 years ago was a little crazy. Now it's just like really crazy. So somebody pulls out their number, you know, they pull out their phone and. They have an Android? They got an Android. Done. Yo, You're that's done. crazy. Why? <laughs> you? You like that too? I don't know about that. That shit is crazy. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? That's crazy because sometimes. You see somebody like girls be chattering. Mm -hmm. They're like, "Yo, why is his? Why is he got green bubble?" Oh, I want to ask you about something. Let's, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, I made Go this ahead. post, right? Mm -hmm. I made this post, and I got, I got people going crazy on me. I said that this guy I was with, he mm -hmm. bought me a fucking silver bracelet from K Jeweler. Yeah, Did yeah, you see yeah. that post? Yeah, I saw that post. And when he gave it to me, he was first of all, I didn't appreciate it. No, yeah, because. Yeah. I used to get him the most fire gifts, okay? okay. Right. Like Yeezys mm -hmm. and fucking whatever. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I, I, mm -hmm. a chain from a jeweler, like a nice a nice one. Like, like Avion or something? Or ben no, Ball, but like, okay. and he didn't have as much money as me. Okay, cool. I don't even expect mm -hmm. you to buy me a fucking Rolex, right? right but I'm right. just saying, or Tiffany's or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, you sh if you're on a budget with a woman... You should at least look into what she likes. Because there's jewelry mm -hmm. that I like that's not even real. Like, there's okay. these, like, Dylan Lux chains. I don't know. You probably, nobody knows what that is. I but don't know. Um, Man, if you have, like, a bougie woman, look up Dylan Lux. It's not even sponsored. But she has yeah. the most fire-ass jewelry. And it's, like, $700. Okay. It's not even real. But it's, right, like, right. this, like, fancy schmancy like these pieces that are is like, like timeless. Is it like cubic, like instead of diamond, it's like cubic zirconia I'll or something show you. like that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I feel like if you don't have a budget for an expensive gift, mm -hmm. 
You should dig into what a person likes, especially when they think about you and get you dope ass gifts. You know, and even if even if you can't afford it, mm -hmm. you should like don't get me a fucking mall a bracelet from the mall when I'm fucking in my 30s. Like, what are you dumb? Oh my god. And then you think I'm gonna wear it? What I'm not gonna wrong wear with K jewelers it. Jewelers. Or Zales. It's no, because it's it's mall jewelry. It's like oh, jewelry. jewelry. Yeah, it's oh, jewelry shit. from the mall. I don't want jewelry from the mall. This is nice. Of course this it's nice. nice. Yeah. We talking about, what if he just gets something from the stand? Like, you know, the little- What stands? The fucking stands in the in the middle of the uh the mall like they be having. What? Well, Why Center, don't go to the mall to buy me jewelry? Oh my God. Why would you, what? What if the piece is nice? How nice? Like- what Like if, why, like what, what do you mean nice how? It look good. Like, like how? I don't know. It got like diamonds on it. Why would you get a diamond <laughs> oh, necklace shit. from a stand at the mall? <laughs> like, what kind of ghetto ass shit is that? <laughs> what if the shit is, I don't know, VVS or whatever? It's you know? not gonna be in a. If it's, it's why? No. Nah. No. No. Okay. So it gotta be from a jeweler, like. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm cold. just saying, even I just showed you something. It's she's right, not right. even a jeweler. She's just like a a jewelry. But just artist. don't no mall jewelry. No mall like, jewelry. Like who wants mall jewelry? Am I am I am I wrong for if I'm buying you dope ass gifts, right? Mm -hmm. Like fucking Gucci shoes, right. Yeezys, whatever the fuck, uh fear of God fucking right, sweatsuit. Right, right. You know, I'm I'm coming like correct, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Louis Vuitton, whatever I'm buying you, nice gifts for yeah, Christmas, yeah. your birthday, even your fucking kids. I'm buying them iPads for their fucking birthday. Mm -hmm. And you come with something for sales for me, go fuck yourself. God damn. I don't want that shit. Give it to your fucking what about, kids. What about Tiffany's? What if they open up Tiffany's in the mall? Yeah, they have. I'm sure they have a Tiffany in certain malls. Okay. Would, yeah, that's acceptable? cool. But I just, when you hear Zales or K Jewelers, K -Jewelers. I'm thinking about like I'm that's 14. Like, that's like McDonald's. I'm just thinking about I'm 14 years old at the mall getting my first bracelet. You know what I mean? Like this Pandora fucking bracelet with oh the charms God, on it. No. Like, I don't think it's for grown. I'm sure there is nice. I'm not saying there is not nice jewelry in there. I'm sure it right, is. Right. I don't want the box. You don't want, you don't want mall jewelry. Mall I just jewelry. don't want like, the fucking Zale box. Ew. It's just, get, it's just ghetto. It just doesn't feel special to mm. me. It's not about the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just the priest. It's just it's just you didn't think status. you didn't think much of me. You know what I mean? You didn't really take the time to like go out of your way to think that like you you couldn't have thought this is what she's going to like. This is it right here. I'm going to give Elle this fucking K Jewelers fucking bracelet and she's going to get wet and like excited as fuck. She's going to love this. Can you you tell, couldn't have think that. Can you tell if it's from jail, like sales or if you change the box? Yeah, if you change no. The box. What if Unless it's just, but I'm just. First of all, he got me a silver bracelet. and It was ugly. It wasn't so like some real, fire. This shit. is a real example. Oh yeah, this was. And then okay. after I told him, "Don't get me any more mm -hmm. K shit." On Thanksgiving, he bought me another gift, and it was a K jewelers. It was just a better quality. It mm -hmm. was earrings, and they were just better quality, but from K jewelers. Oh, and I was like, "Didn't we have this conversation?" But it came from and there. he went crazy. Like he's like, "You fucking bitch." I'm like, bro, I don't want this shit. But I mean, like. But I already told you I don't want it. Why would you buy it for me oh again? My God. I could only imagine if he brought it from J C Penny. This is what I'm saying. You can't date <laughs> these kind of guys that would even go to J C Penny. Yo, if he went to J C Penny, he probably would have uh, like ended uh, up dead. I really want to like be that. a lesbian. I bet you a lesbian Why? wouldn't go to K Jewelers and buy you a gift. Don't be a lesbian. No offense to that. Men are just, I don't know, man. Like, you should see the comments men leave me on my page, too. They're like, you're you're going to be alone with cats. And first of all, those are the fresh and fucking guys. Elon Musk just created this robot, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be alone and old. I think the robot is going to take better care oh, of me no. than any of you motherfuckers would anyway. That robot is going to be at my beck and call. All I got to do is doot, doot, doot. No. Hungry. No, no. I want pasta, and he's going to go, and he's going to cook it for me and bring it to me. Hey, I need to use the bathroom. Boop, boop, boop. He's going to come and help me. He's going to hug me. But you need that, like, sincere 
human connection. You're not gonna get that with a robot. It. I don't need it. I don't need it. I mean, you. I mean, you I'll got get a dog. I mean, you got niggas that fuck, you know, stuffed dolls or whatever, like the fucking blow up. Yeah. Dolls. I don't think like an old lady cares about love and in love a hug. She, they don't eat old people don't even sleep in the same rooms when they're together. You don't think old people care about loves and hugs and shit? From their grandkids, from their kids, but like not really. Not After you get companion. to a certain age, you don't sleep in the same room. That's Do your pretty, grandparents sleep in the same room? Well Did they? My my I didn't know my grandfather, oh. but I knew my grandmother. My grandparents did not sleep in the same room. And I know a lot of grandparents do not sleep in the same room, huh? You think they got tired of each other? Yeah. And my my grandmother mm. has a caretaker right now, a Filipino woman. Yeah. And she's happier than she's ever been in her life. The happiest I've ever seen her. I think. And she'd much rather be with her caretaker than her own kids. Do you think, you think if people get married, they should stay in like separate houses? Yes. But then what's the point of getting married, right? Right. Yeah, I don't, I think, I don't want to live with But if you're with somebody, you don't think they should live with each other at all, right? I don't, I don't. If I'm, if I'm with somebody, like, yeah. or you with, uh-huh. or just a couple but in But then general, what's the, but then, but then it's not going to be like a monogamous thing. Because they're, you, when you're not with them, they're going to be fucking other people. You know, and the reason people move in together is to save money on bills. You know what I mean? So that means relationships shouldn't even exist. I'm not Everybody. saying it shouldn't exist. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that if you have like a high school sweetheart mm-hmm. or a college person that you fall in love with, you should probably marry them and not get ruined by the world. You know what I mean? Like if you meet somebody in college and you both have like promising futures, you guys should marry each other and not fucking mm. like test out. 10, 20 other people throughout life. Like, marry each other, stay together, and die together, you know? Because people like me, Mm. who have been through, like, different kinds of situations, Mm -hmm. get tainted by one fucked up boyfriend will change somebody's whole trajectory. So I got a question for you, right? Yeah. Because I had this conversation with my boy Uh a lot. And I think past... High school, college, love isn't the same. It's not as genuine as what it used to be in high school and college. Because in high school and college, you're not really thinking about, you know, oh, does this person have this? This person got that. It's more genuine. Like, y'all talking, y'all getting to know each other. It's more authentic. But I think past high school and college, it's not. There's, there's it's more conditional. Not yeah. to say it's never conditional. I don't know. But I, I just feel like well, the only couples that look like they got some good going on are the couples that met in college. Mm-hmm. The man went off and had his career. The woman has the baby. She still yeah. looks good. You know what I mean? She looks right. happy. They look happy, and they stay together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I don't know That's if they're true. happy or not, but they didn't get fucked up by, like, somebody. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not right. saying it's only men, but, you know, a lot. there are men, men out too. there. Men, too. We get. Yeah, I'm not saying it's only men. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that women will meet a guy, and mm-hmm. they will take and steal, like, a chunk of your life. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like Fuck it up. <clears throat> you can have a promising future. A guy can come into your life and fuck up your whole life That's and like true. women really just want to they all they want love so bad right and yeah. then they will allow a man to come in use their car live in their house like fuck up their whole you know <laughs> break, you know food, get eat their, their food money. fucking crash their car mm-hmm. steal their money from their credit card uh-huh. all types of shit to have their boys over and Someone on the run. I don't know. Whatever, right? Yeah. Well, well, I know somebody that's going through that right now. Yeah, literally. People will allow a man to come and fu- and after after you get over that, yeah. you are so fucking traumatized to not mm-hmm. let that happen again mm-hmm. that you won't even allow yourself. You know what I mean? Because now you have to start over. So if you left and and were able mm-hmm. to get away from that at like twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah. Now all the shit you did in that time was a waste. You yeah, yeah. wasted all your youth, and now you have to start over. 
And if you meet another person and get into another relationship, they're going to waste even more of your mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to preserve yourself so yeah. they don't ruin your life. Because right, right. even a man giving you a child and making you a single mother, mm -hmm. he's ruining your life. Because you're angry all the time because mm -hmm. you have to take care of the child yourself. Yeah. And then he's like, well, you know, we're not together anymore. And da -da -da. You know, it's just, it's just like destruction. Like, relationships, they do more bad than good. I'm not saying all of them, but... Maybe that's just... That's just my experience. And just right. what I see from other women. I don't see women are being like... I just see a lot of women that are really hurt by men. You know? I had an, a, a, Not really, like, an experience, but... I remember being out with somebody. And you could just tell, like, they've been through a lot. Yeah. Like, at a young age. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she already just had all these assumptions about me. And I just met her. Yeah. Like, first time, she had, like, all these assumptions. And I'm like, fuck. Like, who the fuck you been with? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But do you think, like, there's an age where you shouldn't be fucking around? Like, you think somebody should get, like, settled in in their early 20s? You know, like back teens? in the day, they used to have, like, arranged marriages for a reason. Your family mm. would go to another family who was well off. Yeah. You know, they would find the right suitor mm. for their daughter on their level. You right. know, they're not a, a, a poor guy is not going to find a fucking king or mm -hmm. a prince and offer his. You can't. Yeah, right. Yeah. Only like a suitor who is good enough for a prince will, you know, go mm -hmm. with the prince. So parents would try to find the best fit for mm -hmm. their kids and then they would get married and at least, you know, I don't know if that worked well or not, but it just, mm. I don't know what works. I don't think, I don't know what works. I do think you, you got to get lucky. Do you think, would you, let's say like something happened in America and then people said we got to have arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. You think that's, that should be a thing? Mm -mm. No, I don't know. They, they still have arranged marriages in different course, cultures, different you know, cultures, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. I honestly, because a lot of men are also, like, abusive, you know? Not just men, too. Girls, too. Yeah, but... Both sides. Both sides are fucked up now. Yeah. Like, I spoke to this lady, this Jewish mm -hmm. lady. Her father arranged her marriage for her, mm -hmm. and she said the guy was, like, super... Her husband was super abusive, and she just left him, and she had to get a restraining order, and he tried to, like, take custody of the kids, and, like, it's ugly. It gets really ugly. Relationships get really ugly, Especially when there's kids involved, it's even uglier, you know? So it's just like, to me, the reward is not worth the risk. That's why I don't mind being alone. Because it's just not worth the risk. Unless I found yeah. somebody who was, like, equally yoked, you know? A New York guy. A New York guy? Yeah. I don't know. L.A. niggas is different. I don't think LA niggas. No, I don't. I don't know. I'm not, honestly, I'm not even looking. I'm just like I said. I just want to like make money. I don't care about love. I'm not on any dating apps. Like I don't care. Stay away from dating apps. Aren't you on a dating app? Hell, fucking no. Oh, I thought you meet girls from dating apps. Nah, fuck no. Oh. I probably through Instagram. That's probably like, or just in person, but not dating apps. Not tw Tinder. Like Tinder was. I tried Tinder. Like, I tried the dating app shit. I just didn't like it. You didn't like it? I didn't it. like it. Why? One, I didn't even know, first of all, Tinder had, like, a lot of trannies. Really? Tra mad trannies. No offense. Transgenders. To, yeah. Yeah, transgenders. No offense. Do to. they tell you? Do they make it known or you find out later? Like, I don't know. Some of the, some of the swipes... Like, you could kind of tell, but they didn't really make it widely known or available. Okay. Um, so they don't put a flag. Yeah. They didn't really put a flag on it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me get off this. <laughs> Let me get off this. Um, and on top of that, like, I just think, like, being on a dating app, like, you just, it takes so much of your time because you're trying to look for a match. You're trying to look for this. You're trying to look for that. And then I was just like, I don't even like this experience. Like, I don't like taking so much time trying to look for something. Like, I don't know. I got off of that shit after like a week. 
Mm. After like a week, I got off that shit. I yeah. couldn't do it. But Tinder was just weird. Like Tinder was just, I don't know. Like Tinder, Tinder was, was cool when they first started it. I don't know how old yeah, it was, but when, when they it, first started it, it was pretty cool. Yeah, when it first then it got started. Weird. Yeah, but like now it's like a sex app. Where yeah, you that's want to fuck. Yeah, that's it. really what it is. Like, it's like Craigslist of twenty twenty four. Uh huh. Yeah, it was just a lot of like. You had a lot of like. Oh. A lot. Sorry of, to cut you off. What do you think of? What do you think of? A dick pump. Last thing. Here oh, we go. shit. Yo. Would you use a dick pump? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. What the fuck is that? It's a dick pump. And it, it adds inches to your dick. So if fuck? a guy was small, you, do you think he should use it? What the fuck? I don't know. Like, does it work? Yeah, it works. My friend tried it. Holy shit. What the? It's, he said it's like Viagra, but a natural Viagra. It um. It's supposed to make your dick bigger. Or something? Yeah, it's supposed to make your dick bigger, and like you have more stamina, and you get hard longer. Like it's for better sex health. What the fuck, yo? This is crazy. I don't know. I wouldn't. You don't, don't need it. I don't have that problem. ED problems, but <laughs> it's not for ED. It's not for oh, erectile. It's dysfunction. supposed to it's make you to... last longer, and and it's supposed to make your dick long bigger. It gives you like two inches. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Yo, that's crazy. Crazy, right? Where'd you get that? I'm a sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Bathmates.com. Okay. Big shouts to Bathmates. Yeah, I actually I had some girl come in and she uh What other products they got? Just dick pumps? Just dick dick pumps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, let me end it. Okay, so this was the episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm, I don't know. It's a lot going on over here. Uh, be patient with me because I myself am confused about what's going on. But I will be home soon. So hopefully, Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to keep doing the podcast just to give you guys content. And hopefully you like it. I don't know. I'm trying my best here. It's been a little bit rough getting guests in New York. But... Like I said, I'm not staying here. So I'm just going to continue shooting until I get situated. Thank you for watching. Okay. I'm going to follow it up with Chris right now, too. Okay. So I'll show you what you did already. Yeah. I think I had some clips in there, right? Yeah, hell yeah. How long did you record for? An hour? Yeah. Yeah, she's about an hour. Okay.